When the day of Pentecost was fully come in AD 33 in Jerusalem, the Pentecostal apostolic movement started. The work grew internationally, and later it was in Brownstown, St. Anne, that the first Pentecostal church was established in Jamaica by Bishop Henry Adrian Lee. The first Jamaican to receive the gospel, Bishop Lee labored in Brownstown for 46 years. The Pentecostal apostolic message referred to as the Oneness Jesus Name Movement was brought to Jamaica sometime in the late 1918 by one Madam Jean Sapleton from the United States of America. During this time in 1918, Brother Lee, a Baptist deacon, met Madam Sapleton in Kingston and accepted the Pentecostal message, receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Madam Sapleton then returned to the USA, where she told Elder Arthur Watson, an Englishman living in Canada, of the work established in Jamaica. One year later, Elder Watson came to Jamaica, where he met with Elder Lee, who was in charge of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. From here, Elder Watson preached the Oneness Jesus Name message, which spread like wildfire. A revival broke out during which Elder Lee received the vision of establishing a work in Brownstown, now Apostolic Ark, pastored by Apostle G. W. Johnson. The first baptism took place at Dry Harbor Discovery Bay, in which 82 candidates, including Elder Lee, were baptized in Jesus' name. In the second baptismal service, another 25 candidates, including the late Melvina White, founder of Emmanuel Apostolic, and Mother Mary Penman of Bethel United Church Apostolic, were buried in Jesus' name. In 1923, Sister Melvina Needham went to Kingston to work with Mother Russell, where she met Brother George White. They were married in November 1924. Elder White then started a church in his hometown, Carisbrook, where many were baptized in Jesus' name. In 1925, Elder White became affiliated with the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, PAW, and started another church at 37 South Parade, upstairs, Fenny's Store in Kingston. From 1925 to 1929, churches were established in Kingston at 22 Bond Street, French Street, Newtown, Franklin Town, and Emmanuel Apostolic Tabernacle of King and Beeson Streets, Somerton in St. James, and Caledonia in Manchester. In 1930, Elder White became Island Presbyter for the PAW churches. They were blessed with the visit of Bishop G.T. Haywood, Chairman of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World International. Other churches were established at Darleston, St. James, Montego Bay, and Port Antonio. 1931 saw 20 persons being baptized at the first baptism in Spanish Town in Jesus' name. 1940, the Jamaica Union Apostolic Churches was founded. In that same year, the Shiloh Apostolic Church of Jamaica began. In 1945, the United Pentecostal Church was founded after the merger of PAJC with Pentecostal Churches Incorporated. On the 15th of December, 1968, the Bethel United Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic was opened at 20 South Camp Road. The organization was originally headquartered at No. 5 Barclay Street, Savannah Lamar, where Bishop John S. Watson presided as pastor and had branch churches in Lionel Town and Maypen Clarendon, White Shop and Christiana Manchester, Darleston, Whithorn and Grange Hill, Westmoreland, Stettin Trelawney, Bob Walk St. Catherine, and Retirement St. James. The late Bishop Wilford W. Penman succeeded Bishop John S. Watson as Island Bishop. Later, in 1987, Bishop Ira D. Thompson was promoted to this office. Today, Bishop Devon Brown is the Island Bishop of the organization, and Bishop John K. Hewitt, the Deputy Island Bishop. From one organization in 1918, the Pentecostal movement has grown to some 52 organizations today, with over 700 churches and membership of over 200,000 persons. The Bethel United Church of Jesus Christ today celebrates the theme, Preserving Our Heritage, 
empowering the next generation. Pentecost indeed can be repeated, for the Lord is just the same yesterday, today, and forever. Glory to his precious name.